so if the X is pressed then we just uh, uh, leave the game actually we will not do that exit or some function we just return from this function with uh, one because the exit is the first element so but before we can do that we have to free the actual surfaces because else we would get a memory leak so we use the sdl free surface and just free the menu 0 and free the menu 1 probably a for loop could do that as well but that will be two line as well so we just free the surfaces and return with 1 ok return with return with 1 ok that's what I want to write so if something is happening we just exit from the uh, so all of the element oh I changed my mind use for loop so for int i equals zero i less than num uh, menu uh, i plus plus and just free the menu i that's it okay so we just free all of the surfaces which is uh, which could cause memory leak if we don't do that and return with one from this uh, uh, function and uh, this return value we will um, so we will handle the return value in the main loop okay the next thing to do is handle the mouse motion event so give fdl mouse motion okay so we declare the x and the y coordinate up here so we can use those values so x equal to event dot motion dot x so we just get the actual so the, the actual x x and y coordinate of the mouse oh motion okay and we check that is it uh, uh, inside one of the item I use a for loop for that so okay so we oh not FPR for so we just go through all of the element and check if it is inside that so um, if the X and Y coordinate is inside one of them it it is if it is then we just change the color okay so uh, if x is greater or equal then I hope that you know how to actually uh, examine if a point is inside or outside of the rectangle although I use this example in the mouse tutorial so if x is greater or equal than uh, uh, position i dot x and it is less than the maximum uh, size so if x is less or equal than position i dot x plus position i pl uh, dot y so if it is greater than the x coordinate and less than the x coordinate plus the width and the y coordinate so if y is greater or equal than position i dot y and it is less than the uh, height so the y coordinate plus the height so if y is less or equal than position i uh, plus, uh, uh, dot y plus position i dot height then we are inside this uh, rectangle so in this case we have to uh, we have to examine one more thing if you remember we just we just created a boolean array selected so if not selected so if it is already not selected then we select it and uh, So we make the selected oh selected i. So 
so we make the selected i equals to true and we free the surface uh, the uh, so we uh, free the menu i surface and we create a new surface wi with different color so the menu i make it equal to ttf render uh, text solid and the parameters are the font the second is the menu i menus i and the last menus menus i and the last parameter is the color which will change to color one okay so we just free the surface which was white and we set the surface to red and that's what we did and it would work without this selected value uh, but it will free the surface every time we just uh, go over to the menu so it will every time free the surface and create a new free and create a new uh, and that would be I think a little bit waste so we I just set a boolean and if it is already selected then we don't do not anything we don't do nothing so we don't do anything okay so as so if we are not inside the menu and if uh, select and if it is selected already so we just leave the menu then we actually do the same thing except the white color so just copy this and put it here to make everything quicker okay so the selected i make it equal to zero because it is not selected anymore and free the surface and create a surface with a white color that's all we do okay and actually we are finished with this part of the program oh i just see i did it uh, wrong uh, this as should be co uh, so this as is uh, this as okay so not if not selected but if it is uh, not inside so the uh, the position is not inside the square then we just then we do this as okay and uh, let me see this is good okay this is the for loop as okay i think everything else is good so now we can go to another uh, case under this so case uh, sdl mouse button uh, down so if the mouse button is down so someone just press the the mouse button we want to check uh, uh, what where does it happen so the first is to fill the x and the y coordinate x equal to uh, event dot uh, button dot x and the y equal to event dot button dot y obviously and we just check the same thing if some if we just click some of them we return with uh, with one of uh, which one of them so i use a for loop again so int i equals zero i less than num menu i plus plus and inside here i just make an if statement and i do the exact same thing actually it's uh, the same thing as much that it is completely the same so i can copy it so we just check in here that if it is uh, inside the square so if the click is inside the square as the surface then we just return with i return with i so we return with the um, current value for example if i click continue i will return with zero if i click exit it will return with one in this case there is just two events but of course you can do it more okay and uh, that's all i make a break here 
and actually I should make a break right here oh come on good is in this way and actually one more thing I want to check is whether uh, escape key is pressed because if the escape key is pressed I just want to return to the game so case uh, SDL uh, SD so case uh, SDL uh, key down and uh, I don't use the switch right now because I just want to uh, examine one key so uh, event dot key dot key sim dot sim so if it is the equal to SDL escape so the escape key is pressed then I just return with uh, zero so the continue all right uh, I think that was it okay it was a little bit uh, uh, longer than i uh, thought but we will finish it okay and then we uh, and oh i think i re uh, one more thing uh, because this will just show the menu and don't uh, delete the actual uh, background so i forget to implement the uh, to delete the background we delete the background right here so I just use a uh, black uh, black rectangle and fill the whole screen with that black rectangle. So SDL fill wrapped and we fill the screen. We use the screen clip rect, actually the address of this clip rect. And the last thing is the color which will be black. So map RGB uh, screen format and 0x0 0 x 0 0 x 0 0 0 x 0 0 so I just fill the entire screen with black okay and now we can call this function and call it int i equal to mm, show menu and screen and font all right that's it and uh, if i equal to 1 we set the running equal to false so it will not even go to the main loop okay now we can try to compile the program so i just go to the correct directory and i show you the error messages which will i get so We have to set all of these flags because the Pong game use all of this FDL, TTF. Okay, I don't think that there is another one. Okay, go to 21. I name them name those menus not menu okay never mind about that 51 oh I called the labels okay and uh, the last is okay in here similarly this is labels and uh, that's all I think so we will see okay we use the menus for a few places menus 51 oh menus oh why I call this menu then why I write menu anywhere hm. okay now I can yeah it's compiled although it's not say that is it oh I just realized that we don't free the surface anywhere I guess so when we before we return we have to free the surfaces because obviously that could cause memory leaks sorry about that so just thought about it so similarly use a for loop so for int i equals zero i less than num menu i plus plus 